Here is 1950D Franklin half dollar in MS67 condition with full bell lines. According to Heritage, the 1950D Franklin half dollar is a well made issue with full bell lines coins being plentiful in grades as fine as MS66. However, this super gem example is major rarity. This piece displays vibrant, frosty mint luster rolling across sharply defined motifs and pristine surfaces. Deep amber russet, olive green, and golden toning encompasses each side. I appeal is outstanding. This is 1940 Lincoln Center MS68 red condition, a stunning ultra gem tied for the finest known example with just seven other PCGS examples. Essentially flawless surfaces are set in and showcase sharp full details. Georgia's golden orange coloration and soft peach and pink highlights make for incredible eye appeal. A fantastic piece for advanced collector of this series. A wartime error penny 1944 D. Lincoln sent with D over S repunched mint mark. Graded in mint state 66 plus red by PCGS. Scars and desirable Lincoln scent variety. This is a strong over mint mark. The secondary S is evident clearly protruding from the top of the D. CEC approved for quality. It was bargained for $13,500. This is 1951 the Roosevelt Time in MS68 condition. Sandy silver patina to most areas. The obverse periphery was halo of more vivid olive orange iridescence, enhancing the coin's appearance. There is not even a single notes celebration, as one should demand at uppermost reach of the mean state grading scale. It was sold for $2,185. Moving on with his 1969 D. Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition with full steps. While the earliest days of US Mint boasts the greatest density of true rarities, even the modern era of US numismatics has its fair share of exciting treasures to town, collectors' adventures enough to cherry pick, armed with only loop and afternoons worth of ambition. Among these underrated scarcities is, is a full step 1969 D Jefferson nickel. Though mintage figures will confirm that no Jefferson nickel is anywhere approaching rare in an absolute sense. Available population are at times dwindling down to single digits when preservation and strike are taken into consideration. The full step 1969 D Jefferson nickel was called the Golden Fleece by Dave Bowers, with Scott Schechter suggesting in December 2012 Coin World article that the owner of such coin will be the king of Jefferson nickel collectors. These rare specimen was sold for $33,600. 1961 Lincoln sent in PR69 deep cameo condition, as struck with glowing medium orange mint color to fully impressed sharply cameo surfaces. This dazzling ultra gem is a surprise condition rarity. From a mintage of 3,028,244 pieces, it was sold for $6,600. This is 1941 Jefferson Nickel in PR68 plus condition. Sheer quality of preservation is what earns this coin the distinction. The proof of 1961 Nickel is generally plentiful, although pieces in the lofty PR68 grade are notably rare. Vivid multicolor toning across each side complements the reflective fields and sharp satiny devices delivering eye appeal that upholds its grade. It was sold for $7,800. This is 1937 D. Washington Quarter in Mid State 67 Plus, an impressively satiny Denver meat example with a faint ghosting of golden and sky blue hues across both sides. According to NGC, despite the recession of 1937 38, Quarter dollar production actually rose during 1937, a reflection of how few coins had been struck there in the first years of the decade. 1937D quarters are readily available in grades up to through MS66, but, but the population drops off drastically above that level. Typical Denver Mint coins from this period. And lasting into the 1950s, the D mint quarters are the most consistently well struck of the three mints output. This MS68 Plus gem was sold for $2,820. This is 1917 Lincoln cent with double die verse. Both sides of this delightful 1917 double die cent displays vibrant golden orange luster. The surfaces have an overall smooth satiny texture that highlights a razor sharp strike. A few extremely faint and easily overlooked fly specks on the obverse are all that seem to preclude a full gem rating. 
This is one of the most pronounced double diverse varieties in the Lincoln Sand series with sharp doubling to the digits in the date and the letters God we trust in the motto. It was sold for $14,687.50. In 1952, S. Jefferson Nickel in MS66 plus condition with full steps, San Francisco issues tended to have lower mintage than their Denver and Philadelphia mint counterparts in the late 1940s and early to mid 1950s and the S mint coins are harder to locate in high grades such as this one. This is a sharply struck premium gem nickel with vibrant luster and attractive gold and silver toning. It was sold for $8,812.50. This is 1965 Roosevelt dime struck on a silver dime planchet. Rare transitional wrong planchet error graded in mint state 62 by PCGS. Bright silver with a trace of toning on the lower reverse and lustrous throughout, while seemingly innocuous, these has all the usual appearance of the typical silver Roosevelt dime, but the date of 1965 is when the clad sandwich metal coinage began. There are few of these known of metal old planchet strikings, but very few, especially in mint state, as these would easily have slipped into circulation unnoticed as silver coins dominated the coins in circulation for a few years after the Clad coins were launched in 1965, similar in error to the famed 1943 copper cents, where a handful of leftover planchets were struck in a hopper and when coinage began as a new year slipped into production unnoticed. One of the great mint errors of 1960s and important and rare coin for the specialist. It was sold for $16,450. 1963D Jefferson Nickel in MS65 condition was full steps, whereas the 1963D Jefferson Nickel is plentiful without full steps. It's rare in any grade with them. Both sides of this gem are brilliant, nickel gray with scintillating satin luster. Most importantly, the steps of Monticello are completely delineated. It was sold for $3,360. In 1992D, Lincoln sent in superb gem condition, graded as MS69 red by PCGS. This pinkish orange superb gem is at the threshold of the numismatic perfection, bright, lustrous, and smooth, an exquisite example of both the issue and type. It ended up selling for $4,600. This is 1932D Washington Quarter in MS65 plus condition with CAC approval. Below is satin luster greets the viewer from both sides of this smooth, highly attractive silver tinged gem. Impressive technical quality and eye appeal for this key date, and conditionally challenging issue from the first year of the Washington Quarter series. Though the 1932D's mintage of 436,800 pieces is nearly 30,000 more than its San Francisco mint counterpart. At grades of EF40 or finer, the 1932D becomes a key date of the series. This highly sought-after gem was sold for $41,125.